Hi, everybody. It's Monica from the Coffee with Monica show, and I am here at the Jeremy Brooks a motion picture uh, premiere, and I'm really excited. I'm actually here with one of the premier or the principal characters, and this is Miss Anaya. Anaya, congratulations. Thank you so much. So tell us, now, what role do you play in this production? I play Ashley. So tell us a little bit about Ashley. Ashley is the lead character's girlfriend. She is focused, driven. She's a grad student. Um, she wants the best in life. She's looking for love. She's very vulnerable. So she's a good girl. Kind of your girl next door, kind of. Ah, okay. Well, you seem like the girl next door. <laughs> well, tell me, what can we get out of this movie? What would be the most inspiring part, you think, without telling us the plot, what do you think we'll get from the movie? Um... This is a movie about love, it's a movie about loyalty, it's a movie about friendship, knowing what you want versus what you need. I think there are a lot of, of things that will come from the movie and it's definitely very relatable. I think, I think everybody in the theater today will take something from it. Perfect. Well, I'm excited to see you because you have a long list of things that you've done. I mean, the films and the plays, so I'm really excited for you. And let, let me ask you this, what would be your words to live by? Words to live by, live your dreams. Ah, live your dreams, and that's what you're doing tonight, right? Yes, ma'am, I am. Now, what can we expect from you, Anaya? Just, <laughs> just Naya. <laughs> just, I'm sorry, Anaya, I'm excited. Hey, Naya wasn't a popular name in the 80s, so everybody now Naya is short for something. I'm just Naya, just Naya, Naya Davis. Yeah. What can you expect from me? Expect yes. What can we expect from you in the future? In the future? Definitely more film. I, this is my first film, and I discovered that I love it. Prior to, I've done a lot of stage plays. Definitely more film, and just acting. I just love to do it. I have to do it. Uh, this is how I help people. It's my passion, and, and I really, just more. Well, you have such a beautiful personality, and I know you're going to do well. I'm excited for you. Congratulations. I know you got to get in. Thank you. Hey everybody, I am with Victoria Fox and she's a principal in Jerry Brooks tonight and I am super excited to talk to her. Hello and congratulations. Hello and thank you. I'm excited to talk to you too. Yeah, I was telling you I was reading your bio and I couldn't wait to talk to you, but you started doing this at the age of two? I did, I did. I made my stage debut at two years old in The Christmas Carol, all thanks to my older brother who kind of drug me into it unwillingly. And then it turned out to be the absolute love of my life and became my lifelong passion to tell stories. So, yeah. Wow. wow. So tell me briefly, what was your journey like from getting the age two to here? Oh, well, uh, that's a long time to cover. <laughs> Um, well, you know, like I said, I, I fell in love with it instantly, and I knew right then and there that this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. Uh, and it, that just continued to evolve. Every time I saw a story that touched me and changed my mind about something or, you know, made me feel an identification with somebody who was different than I was, uh, I thought, that's what I want to do for people. That's what I want to give to others. I want to help tell those stories that can, you know, open a world to people that they don't know and have no other access to other than to see it come to life in front of them. So. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Now tell me, what is your role tonight in Jeremy Brooks? Oh, tonight, I don't want to give too much away, <laughs> but tonight is actually a role that is completely different uh, for me. I am playing the other woman, Vanessa. Now, this is a story that is, that is special because nobody's a bad guy. Okay. You know, everybody is just human. You know, p people make mistakes, people do things that they know they shouldn't do, but they get caught up in a moment, they get caught up in a feeling, and they sort of rationalize their way into doing some things that they know better than to do. So this is a story about how that can happen to anyone and how, you know, good people can make mistakes, but good people can turn it around too. You know, it doesn't take anything extraordinary to change the way you're going about your life. It just takes a decision and a willingness to acknowledge you made mistakes and you're going to do better. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm excited and thank you for taking out the time. Congratulations and I wish you the best. Thank you very much. <laughs>
bust a donut. <laughs> <laughs> I studied my head. I see. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm still here on the red carpet. I'm Monica from Coffee with Monica Show, and I'm here with the Ken Cautious, and he's a principal in tonight's production, Jeremy Brooks. Ken, tell me, tell me, tell me, what's your role tonight? Well, I play the role of a gentleman named Frank, who happens to be a bartender. He's also Jeremy Brooks, uh, that's his homeboy, you know. Okay. And so, you know, every now and then, you know, you got to have that uh, that person who kind of snatch you up by your collar and be like, hey, you need to get right. So I was looking at your bio and I was super intrigued by the microphone story when you were the age 11 and you jumped up on the stage. Can you tell us just a little bit about that? That'll tell us more about your character. Well, you know, um, I come outside of acting, I come from a long background of music as well. And uh, I remember going to a concert, and I was 11 years old, and there was a gentleman, uh, it was a rapper. And uh, I, was, I was intrigued because I went to a predominantly white church in school. And this particular time, we had this, we had this, uh, this youth event called Spirit Cry. And they had a rapper there, and I was like, hey, it's another brother, you know what I'm saying? And so I went up to him, I was like, hey, man, hey, I'm very inspired by you, you know. I'm going to be a rapper, I'm going to be a singer one day, too. And I was really looking for this brother to kind of give me some insight and some words of encouragement or, you know, some insight as a young man. He just kind of blew me off. And I was like, hey, man, I'm for real. I do music, too, you know. And so the concert, you know, we later on in the concert, the concert was good, and then he had this long piece of track without no lyrics and nothing like that. And so... I just felt somebody push me. I think it was the Lord just pushed me, and wow. I jumped up on the stage and just took the mic out of his hand and just ripped the show wow. and just stole his crowd. And then the next day, well, after the concert, the uh, the people who were over the concert, they came, caught up with me, and that next year, I was a headliner for that concert. And you hadn't stopped since then, have you? Haven't stopped since then, and don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Wonderful. Can you leave us with your words to live by? My words to live by, I would say, go full throttle. Go full throttle, you know. Uh, you live once, you know. Um, Ricky is what they call them. That's what they Woo! call them. You live once, you know. Um, don't let nobody stop you, you know what I'm saying? You know, own your destiny. And, and and just like, you know, I had to do on that stage, if they lock a door on you, you got two options. You would see for it or you either go through the window. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, congratulations tonight. And I look forward to seeing the production. All right. Enjoy your evening. Yes, God bless.